I think these first uh, Tomax stages are better to just to have a look and uh, do it to, a little bit easier when we get on the gravel then uh, I think I have to drive flat out for a long time something is sorted out And right from the very first special stage, Hanu Mikola and the Audi Quattro play the hare to world rallying's hounds. He's fastest on the first three special stages. And the warm-hearted people of Portugal, who each year line the tortuous route of this rally, adore every moment. In this beautiful country of rolling hills, peaceful secret vineyards and vivid contrasts, the Rally of Portugal is the event of the year. Really good competition here, but still I think with this old motor car we still stand a good chance, I guess. The old model Ford Escort might be outdated these days, but in Bartonen's hands it's immediately leading the hounds. Ari is among many drivers who are determined not to let Mikola get away easily. Some states is hard, maybe too rough, but uh, I think Talbot and I don't care about that. Half Talbot's world championship hopes rest on the spectacular Finnish genius of young Henry Toivonen, unquestionably the fastest rising star of the World Rally Series. The people of Portugal are not being disappointed. winner of this event on no less than three occasions, Marku Allen in the works Fiat. The second string to Talbot's impressive bow is provided by the experienced and stylish Frenchman Guy Frecolin. Making his European World Championship debut for the Rothmans team is Britain's Malcolm Wilson. Frenchman Jean-Luc Terrier is immediately selling some fast times in his privately entered Porsche Carrera, despite the fact that the 320 horsepower car is quite a handful on the rough stuff. For Swedish Opel driver Anders Kulang, it is to be a short rally. Half shaft failure comes after only 10 stages. After 24 hours on the road, the dueling leaders arrive at Pavoa de Vazim in northern Portugal. Mikola has pulled out a lead of 1 minute 48 seconds over Rothman's team leader, Ari Vatanen. We've had a back axle um, overheated and chucked all the oil out, and then. Um... So we slowed down for about three or four stages just to try and sort of save it, and hopefully we, we really didn't expect to be here this morning. Nobody has retired from the top drivers except uh, Kulang, and uh, we are so close to each other, so I think that uh, the rally will begin tomorrow. Ever northwards into the rustic heart of Portugal, the Quattro increases its lead. But Vatanen is maintaining the pressure in second place, much to the enjoyment of a fanatical, raucous crowd who at times get a little too close to the action for comfort. <laughs> the Portuguese just love their rallying. A minute behind his two Finnish compatriots, Henry Teubelen is piling on the pressure in inimitable style. And fighting his way back after a serious fourth stage accident is yet another Finn, Marco Allen. He has already clawed his way relentlessly up the leaderboard from 35th to 5th place.
Bjorn Valdegard in the Duckham's Toyota is running reliably and he's biding his time. The Swedish driver's experience on this sort of rally is a vital asset. And as Guy Frekelin entertains the crowd, so Valdegard awaits the inevitable retirements. Frekeler, however, is in something of a hurry. And as the cars head back south to Estoril, everyone is chasing Mikola. Saturday morning, Mikola and Vatanen are out. Alain leads, Toivonen is second. We got as close as two seconds behind Marco last night. And, uh, unfortunately, on the next stage, with a little bit of a problem, just one small piece in the back axle. Um, but it was going terrifically. I think yesterday, Marco said he had never driven as quickly in his life, and I certainly had never been as quickly in a rally car as I had yesterday. And it was a fantastic day struggle. So, Marco, it's been a very eventful rally for you. OK, yes, I say all the time, I'm a lucky man, you know, everybody retires, but anyway, it's all the time. I go, go, and also I go fast, you know, and all the time flat out, and I am a little bit lucky, you know, Hannu retired, and also Ari, and, uh, and you know, and I'm leading in ten and a half minutes. Michel Mouton yes, in the second Audi Quattro is now fourth. Fourth uh, when you started the rally. Uh, when I start, I never think about the classification, you know. But I am very happy, sure. I prefer to see Anu in front, but we are unlucky for Anu. But I, I hope we finish the rally tonight. Four, three, two, one, go. The final night's tarmac stages around Sintra provide a fanfare finale to Alain's triumph. Despite the rear wheel hub failure, Toivonen is assured of second place. Voldegaard's reward for a waiting game on this grueling rally of attrition is third place. And Frekela in the second Talbot is sixth. For Marco Allen, the spoils of victory. Just four stages after the rally began, his car was a three-wheeled also ran. Yet four days later, here he is, a tough competitor in a tough motor car.